Have you ever wanted to make a Tesla coil but didn't know how to wind the secondary coil? If yes, then this is the right video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind the secondary coil for a Tesla coil. For this, you are going to need a suitable plastic pipe to wind your coil on. I used a 110mm polypropylene drain pipe for my coil. Uh, this is the already finished coil. You will also need uh, some magnet wire. I will be using uh, some 0.3mm one, uh, which on this pipe will result in about 1000 turns. Before you wind the coil, you need to calculate how much wire you will need. For this, we can use a program called Java TC. It will also show us other important parameters of the coil, like its resonance frequency and others. To use Java TC, you will need to open it in your browser, then input all the parameters of the coil you want to wind, and then click Calculate. Here you can see the resonance frequency of your coil, here is how much wire you will need in meters, and here's the weight of the wire which you will need. Now let's get to winding. You can wind your coil either by hand or like I will be doing it using a drill. Though using a drill is hard or impossible when dealing with a very thin wire because it will just snap. No matter how you choose to wind your coil, it must be done carefully with no overlaps or gaps. Also, it's not recommended to bend the wire because that could damage the thin isolation. Start winding the coil slowly and by hand. When winding it, uh, tape it off often, especially if you're winding it by hand, uh, this will prevent it from unwinding. Winding is now complete, and here I have completed around 34 centimeters of full winding. Now it can be covered in a layer of epoxy or polyurethane for protection, or used as is. I will cover my coil with some polyurethane. For this you are going to need some clear polyurethane, and a brush. Now apply it in a thin layer and let it dry. After it's dry you can apply a second layer and then let it fully dry. The next day. Polyurethane has now dried and we have this finished beautiful looking coil. It looks professional. And here we have uh, on the inside we have both wires of the start and finish which later will be connected to a thicker wire and it's overall just beautiful. Uh, you can also cover the ends of the pipe with some black tape but that's not necessary. Thank you all for watching. See you in my next video, goodbye.